This is my neighborhood in Saigon. They're building a hotel over here. This is my apartment complex here. I'm going to walk down the street adjacent to my complex because I wanted to give the viewers an idea of the kind of locale where I am. Now, normally the streets would be busier than this because it's Tet right now. Tet holiday, which means half the people are gone. Earlier this morning, this whole area looked like a scene from The Walking Dead or 28 Days Later because it was completely empty. It's what an apocalypse would look like in a place as busy as Saigon. That honking there never stops to be annoying. It never ceases to be annoying. It's annoying. People do it all the time. They do it though to let the motorists know that there's a car coming. People on their motorbikes do that too. I've never seen so many motorbikes in my entire life until I came to Saigon. So, I'm gonna cross the street before I get run over. streets in Saigon can really test one's will. Before I came here, I actually had a fear of riding around on a motorcycle. I was terrified of doing that. You know, one of my sister's classmates in high school was killed on a motorcycle crash in Houston many years ago. Actually, not in Houston, though. It was in Galveston. One Saturday night, he went out drinking, partying. I don't know all the details, because that was 20 some odd years ago. But I remember he crashed into a palm tree and he was killed instantly. So that's one reason why I had such a terrible fear about riding around on motorcycles. I watched Sons of Anarchy after a while, wanted to be like one of those guys. And then, sure enough, it's just like riding any regular bike, bicycle, you just get used to it. One thing you never get used to though is seeing all these people around here riding on their motorbikes without a helmet, and some of them even talking on their cell phones. So this is a regular street in Saigon. People selling stuff on the streets. Fruits, chickens. One time on my way home, I saw a cage full of puppies. I like to think that whoever had them in that cage was selling them to find a good home for those puppies. But I have a feeling it was probably something else. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but that's just how it was. Every once in a while you'll hear political speeches. I don't know what it is that they're saying, it's on a megaphone, but I do recognize the inflection of the tone of the voice on there. I have no idea what the hell it's saying. Don't ask me, but it's something political, like, don't do this, mind your manners. It's just, it's to keep people in check. That's just the way that it is. at the end of this street. I'll post another video after this one. Somebody suggested I cut my videos down into smaller segments, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ooh. Be 
fish still waving around. I thought those were eels there for a moment. Cafe culture is very big in Vietnam. I think it's from the French influence, but that is one thing I do like about living in Saigon, is all the cafes. They even have Vietnamese iced coffee, which is quite unique. I know they had a hamburger joint here. I never did get a Saigon kiss, by the way. If anybody know, wants to know what that is, a Saigon kiss is a burn on your leg from the exhaust pipe of one of the motorbikes. That hasn't happened to me here however it did happen last year in bangkok so i don't know why they call it a saigon kiss but because it didn't happen to me in saigon it happened in bangkok You can see they sell unique motorcycle helmets over there. I might get one of those one day when I get a new motorbike. I didn't know there was a little footbridge over here, but that's about where I'm going to end. So, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I'm giving everybody a little taste of Saigon. That's the river right there, one of them. So, there you have it. More to come soon.